Well, howdy there, folks, and welcome to another episode of Toothless TV with your host, as always, Toothless Ty. And today we are back out on Beaver Lake, as always. Um, today is the day before Halloween, and we had a huge cold front come through um, this past week. Today, the high is only, I think it's only like 60, I think it's only 60. Um, it was 39 when we were hooking the boat up and getting ready to come out here on the water today. And supposed to have some bluebird skies later on today. Looks like the fog's trying to break up um, right now. So fishing conditions may be a little tough. Um, but we got about four hours out here. Not a full day. Um, promised the fiance I'd be back in time to drink on the porch and watch some college football. So we're going to do that and try to get out of the water around 1, get us home around 2. But uh, it's about just 9 o'clock right now, and we are about 10 minutes away from our first spot. So we're going to try to get us some big old ones. Today I'm going to throw a crankbait, jerkbait. I'm going to try a little wake bait, and depending on if the sun comes out or not, um, which is supposed to, I'm going to throw a, probably a couple jigs or maybe even a drop shot just for something new. But uh, but anyway, hope you all enjoy and we'll see you at the first spot. We made it to the first spot and honestly I've been scanning around and I haven't seen much bait. A um, little bit of structure. I marked a few fish. Um, actually as we're talking, take a look at this. Hang on. As we're talking, got a little little brush pile with a tiny little bass right there. But I don't know. I guess we'll see how it yeah, it's looking okay. Then we're gonna fish it anyway. So we'll see how we do. And we're gonna start the morning off strong with the old wake bait. And if that doesn't do anything, I'm gonna throw the jerk bait around. And then last but not least, we're gonna just beat the bank the rest of the day with the crankbait um hopefully we'll pick something up so these post front conditions are not easy uh i don't know we're gonna see if we can do it we're gonna figure this out together because being from florida i know we have cold fronts but it don't matter if we fish them or not so Alrighty, let's try a old jerky jerk out. God, that DC reel, man. Things are awesome. one more time on the outside and work our way back up this creek I don't think the fish are this far back yet if they were they moved back out deep with this cold water Got one, got one. All right, first fish of the day. Alrighty y'all, we've been out here for about 20 minutes fishing and got us our first bass. Looks like a little spot, uh, caught her on the old jerk bait and these post front conditions are going to be looking good this morning. Looks like just about 13 inches. See you later. All right, y'all, let's get back in there and see if we can get us another one.
Look at this fucking contraption. Holy cow. Look at all the damn lines. All the sandbags. Holy shit. That ain't worth going out right there. No, sir. All right, we caught one at the first spot. Um, didn't get anything else. Home we've been still about 35, 40 minutes out here fishing. Um, we're gonna be moving quick today, so. Going right back up to the next spot. I'm gonna see. Maybe I can find something on some structure here with the side scan, but it's not looking too promising right now. But uh, I did see some docks up here that I think I saw some fish busting on. So we'll go try those real quick and see what we can get. Well, would you look at that? Went ahead, I was on my way to one spot, and I said, you know what? I said, look at that power plant back there. Y'all see that, I don't know what they're doing, but I thought, you know what? They might got some water going on there. I've hit this spot before. Um, first cast, a little jerk bait, a little tiny guy, but you know, got us a little something going on. Actually figuring something out instead of just cast in a, a flipping lure so i'm happy uh we've got about an hour and a half left so let's get on it oh there we go got one Oh yeah, a little better. Let's get the net for this guy. He's only got one hook on. Ooh. Ah, of course. Third fish of the day. Look at that little guy. Throwing right back in there. I'm gonna keep getting him. Toothless TV, baby. Yeehaw. Oh, there we go. There we go. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, no. He's just hooked a little weird. Tell y'all what, I think the jerk bait is becoming my new favorite lure. They just catch fish? I don't know what it is. Check it out. I'm sick of the damn treble hooks getting stuck in my hand, but we're catching the fish. Ain't too bad. Got a little guy, he's a little bigger. Get back in the water. 
We didn't do too bad on that last spot. Um, still not anything big, not anything to brag, not anything to take home out about. But for these post front conditions, you know, hey, I'm happy catching at least more than one skunks out of the boat. We were on a bit of a pattern. Um, then the sun came out. So it's definitely starting to warm up. The water temp's already warmed up about two degrees. Um, I definitely found some dirtier water. I think at this time we are just going to hit some uh, bluff walls and just crank the whole whole damn time I did throw on a swim bait because uh, I broke off my football head um, which I never caught a fish off of that either but I figured you know what it might be worth a try maybe I can get a big one we got about 30 40 minutes left and that's about it so then I'll start heading back to the ramp it's about 12 o'clock right now so alrighty y'all we'll see what we can get toothless TV Well, welcome back, y'all. We've got the boat loaded up. Apparently, uh, one o'clock in the afternoon is the busiest time at the boat ramp because we had more wave runners out in this 50 degree, 60 degree weather than we did during the summer. I, it doesn't make any sense. But we did have a good day out there. Uh, I think I caught four fish total, maybe three. Um, I'll have to go back and look at the video, but we did have fun. It was a good day. Um, I will say I did learn something that you need to keep on the boat for emergencies, especially in this cold weather. And I know what you guys are thinking, you know, hand warmers, a jacket, blah, blah, blah. No, what you need on a boat in cold weather, flask of whiskey. Little floppy flask of whiskey, get the job done. When I was cruising back, that's what I needed. So, you know what? I'm gonna see y'all back at the house and I'm gonna show you how to make a real whiskey drink. See y'all at the house. Welcome back to the house, y'all. Toothless TV. We did do well today out on the water, didn't catch a ton, but like I told y'all before, emergency whiskey is necessary on the boat, especially in cold water. And I'm gonna show y'all how to make a real whiskey. Start out with your cup. It's not what we're gonna drink out of, this won't mix it. Then, get your sugar. And then put about one, two, three. That'll do it. Point that off, put it back. And we get our bitters. Orange and regular. And put as much bitters as you like. I think this is about empty. I like to go a little heavy on the bitters. And then, since I don't have cherries, we're gonna use cherry Kool-Aid liquid. 
and you give that a good little stir. Get it nice and ready. A nice thick paste. We get our whiskey of choice, which is always wild turkey one on one. Unless if you're a homo and drink Jack Daniels. We're gonna fill that up pretty far. Make us a big stiffy. Give that a good shake. Good stir. Now we got our cup. Safety first, drink with a nurse. Top it off with a seltzer. Win at the same time. Give that one more stir. Careful not to overflow. Now we gotta give it a taste. And that is the Toothless TV Special. The perfect post-frontal cold weather drink. We're gonna go ahead and end the video off y'all. You like my festive pumpkin back there? We are gonna enjoy this cold weather. Have us a few maybe three big stiffy drinks and uh we'll catch y'all next time please comment like and subscribe and if you want more of this com or uh content drop a comment down below and give me some ideas of what i'm gonna do next and stay tuned for more toothless tv yeehaw